I'm a cognitive therapist. Cognitive therapist is you change the way you think so that you change the way you feel. Mm. It's thoughts that affect emotion, not the other way around. Wow. It's not what you feel that affects your thinking. A lot of people think that, no. You, it first starts here. That's why the battle is not in your heart. The mm. battle is in your mind. Right. So when your battle is raging there, that affects your feelings. If you have a sad thought, then you're going to feel sad. If you have a happy thought, you will feel. That is why Paul in the, in the Bible says, it's one of my favorite, well, all scripture is my favorite, but this one is really, really... Neat. It, it says, Paul said, I think myself happy. Mm. The exact words. I think myself happy. What he's saying is, and if you look at the, the, the preceding scripture and the following scriptures, he's talking about strongholds. He's talking about how the enemy can rob you of, of the, but then he says, look, I've made up my mind to rejoice. I think myself happy. He didn't say, I'm going to decide to feel happy because the heart is deceitful. You can't depend on the heart. The heart, the Bible says the heart is the most deceitful place ever. And who can know it except God, right? The heart is deceitful and full of, full of deceit. And, and, and it is not a reliable source to build your walk with God. It is not a reliable source to build your mental health. Do not, it, it doesn't say heart health. It says mental health. Mm. So mental health cannot be built on uh, um, getting your you know on your heart it just can your heart your or your feelings i shouldn't say heart your feelings and emotions are transient it, it depends on your mood it's changeable it's so it's not settled it's not reliable it is very changeable and it's very deceitful you could have a, a bad day and if you build your mental health on how you're feeling then you will never get to be mentally healthy you have got to build your mental health on what you think mm. what you Think or what you will choose to refuse to think. Mm -hmm. So the person who's worried about losing his job because the boss has been dropping hints and stuff like that needs to find out how valuable. I mean, okay, give me evidence why you think you lose. Well, boss has been talking about it. Everybody's been talking about it. Some people have actually been laid off. My best friend was laid off two weeks ago. So how do I know it's, I'm got not going to be the next on the chopping block? All right. Now prove to me that all that you have put there is proof that you will lose your job. Mm -hmm. Now, disprove it. Mm. How do I disprove it? Well, you've given me evidence as to why you believe you might lose your job. Now give me evidence as to why you believe you will probably keep your job. So, well, I'm a good worker. Um, I've been recently promoted. Um, I made some very good connections in sales, and my boss actually complimented me. So what happens is you are forcing your mind to come against the tide of negativity in your brain. Mm -hmm. Your brain is flooding with negativity and you're pushing it back. And that is the book of Corinthians. Mm -hmm. Taking, pulling down strongholds, yeah. pulling down thoughts that exalts itself. So you, you are pushing back the negativity. The final thing that you do now is now that you've got a list of evidence as to why you might lose the job, then you've got evidence as to why you probably will keep the job. And then the last column is, based on uh, column one and column two, the column three would be, what do you think is the reasonable conclusion? Mm. The conclusion based on one and two. The conclusion is, well, I might lose my job because of what's happened to others. But because I'm an individual and because of what's been happening to me individually and how they appreciate me and how I've been working hard, I most probably won't. Mm -hmm. Now, immediately when you do that cognitive restructuring exercise, it's called cognitive restructuring. You restructure the way you think. And Jesus said, as a man thinketh, so is he. Mm -hmm. So um, once you restructure the way you think, Okay, column one and then column two is opposes column and then column three is a reasonable conclusion based on these two. Y your anxiety levels can drop right to 50 to 70%. Wow. Wow. Now, it does it, I didn't say 100%. Sometimes it can. Sometimes your anxiety level will totally disappear. It depends on the issue, depends on what, you've, what you perceive things to be in your mind and what you've, uh, the arguments that you've presented against the negativity. Mm -hmm. But never be afraid of calling your name.
negativity. 